y'all. What's growing on? What's up? I, um, I've, I've had to cover most of the plants in my gardens, um, in my backyard, because it, it actually got down to freezing last night, and before, well, before it, you know, got to freezing, of course, um, last night after work, I, um, it took me like an hour and a half to cover all the plants that really needed to be covered. I mean, I used I used towels, beach towels, um, sheets that, that that I got at a um, a Goodwill for a dollar each because they were on sale. They were um, that that certain color tag was a dollar. Um, I, I covered everything I possibly could. These are just starting to sprout, and I I don't want them to to die off. You know, I've I've invested so much time and and energy into my um into my gardens so and i definitely wanted to uh to cover up the strawberries i mean yeah they um i don't want anything to happen to them either i'm not even sure what this plant is this might be a, a tomato and that's probably you know what this could be a potato plant i think it is cuz i um I put some food scraps into the uh, into the soil here underneath this mandarin orange tree, and you know to help the soil because it'll eventually become compost. And I guess some of the potatoes grew. That's my uh, mandarin orange tree, our mandarin orange tree, and it seemed to be okay, you know, for the for the freeze. It shouldn't get down to freezing anymore. Just kind of maybe frost. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, I, I covered a, a lot. <laughs> the majority of the plants, I've I've covered. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce came out okay. It's you know I didn't, <laughs> I couldn't cover all my plants because I didn't have that much to do with. So my um, my sweet potatoes here, the leaves got frozen. Some of them did, but then these these are okay. This is at the end here, so. The the sweet potatoes ought to be okay. Plus, also, I mean, it's it's an underground crop, so it should be fine. Um, I couldn't cover all the um, all the zucchini, but I think for the most part, I think they're okay. There's some zucchinis right there, <clears throat> so the leaves are doing fine. <laughs> It's um, being overtaken by by sweet potatoes, but it's okay. There's some chard, some Swiss chard, um, some kale, and some yummy dandelions. Yeah, everything everything should be fine. Hammy melons, I think those are hammy melons anyway. Had a lot of little ones. I'm trying to make sure they're well protected. Um, these are black beans, and they're doing just fine. <clears throat> so yeah, especially the the things that I that I planted recently, and that are just like barely coming up. I've I've covered them, and and everything else seems to be just fine. There's my parsley. Yeah, that's pretty hardy, huh? That and rosemary. Yeah. Uh oh. Watermelon vine. <laughs> it didn't fare too well, huh? Yeah, the poor baby. But we do have another little watermelon over here somewhere under the sheet. And so that plant ought to be okay. You know, I. I think that's um, what they call weed. That is probably cilantro. But I covered up my roses too. I mean, I'm sure they're hardy, but my little rose bush right here, I, I, I covered her up too, you know. So, everything turned out to be okay. 
I think that's the um, the only time it's really going to actually freeze. Otherwise, it's just a chance of frost for like, and that's what, like eight or nine days, something like that. And, and these are, are um, this is material fabric that I, I was I was going to make gloves or, or the linings of purses out of that type of thing. And I, I, I haven't done that yet. I haven't had the time. I've, I've been working so much. So I figured, well, I'll just use it to cover up plants. I mean, why not? Um, we also have some um, some water that we collected from the rains that we've had recently. <gasps> Uh-oh, that fell off. I gotta recover that. Huh. There we go. There we go. Make sure y'all stay warm. Don't want my little babies to get frozen. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, it's um, it's it's worth having having a garden. But you know what? When you eat the veggies and the fruits that come from those plants, and they're so much better than you buy at the store. And um, they're they're so much they're so much. So much more flavorful, and you know it doesn't have any chemicals, you know, from fertilizers and pesticides and things like that. There's um, <laughs> the legs of some jeans that, that I cut off to make cutoffs. So I mean, hey, it's it's fabric. It's it acts as a blanket for the little bitty. Flowers that I planted. Let's see, can you see that? Where's that there? So, I mean, I'm gonna protect my investments, my time investment and, and money investment, you know. So, I mean, when you when you have something like this, I mean, it's a responsibility. You you need to take res you know responsibility. To um to take care of it, because I mean it can't go inside and drain out some some blankets for itself and cover itself up, you know, just like you know dogs, cats, other other pets or animals that you might have. I mean they can't go to the refrigerator, open the fridge, and you know get something to eat for themselves. You got to take care of them, you know. You got to have a sense of responsibility. And kindness, you know, just to take care of things. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's work to have a garden, but it's it's definitely well worth it. You know, these are my um my zucchinis. I just harvested a couple of them last night, well yesterday afternoon before I covered them up. Um, I think these are radishes. Yeah, those are radishes. And I've got lettuce growing as well. There's some alyssum. Those flowers, you can eat the flowers of any kind of alyssum. And they're really, you know, I mean, they're not real tasty. But, you know, they give a unique flavor to salads and, you know, things like that. So that's how my garden's doing right now. Um... I'll make another video probably in another another couple of weeks or something. Um, so oh, <laughs> the um, grapefruits are kind of bonding me in the head <laughs> as I walk under them. <clears throat> but these are all those beans. Remember those beans in a previous video? I said, you know, we're, we're outdated, and so I just kind of dumped it in the dirt, you know, thinking, oh, it'll turn into compost. So I made at least 100 plants. And so I'm protecting them from any freeze or frost. And these are the uh, black-eyed peas. Oh, somewhere in there. <laughs> Maybe they gave up. Oh, there's one right there. 
There's one. But yeah, and then there's some baby tomatoes. I don't want those to freeze. They'll get all mushy. And then I've got um, I've got more tomatoes under here. Yeah. And then under here are some bean plants. I think they're black beans. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to protect them. Like a mama. You know, mamas protect their babies. These are fava beans. They're grown really nicely. I think those are black beans. I'm not sure. You know, I, I dumped um, some beans and... Well, here's some more. You know, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of beans they are, but... I'll find out once once they're ready to, uh, to pit and either eat or dry, you know. We'll figure it out. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. And I hope your garden's doing fine. Um, if you don't have a garden, you can always um, garden with um, containers and um, plant some um, some seeds and some you know potting soil or well garden soil, compost, whatever, and just um, and harvest it. But yeah, just take take care of your plants. You know, just make sure that they're they're doing okay. And, um, and they'll treat you right. If you treat them right, they'll treat you right, you know? So, thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you want, you know, any ideas or, you know, suggestions. Things like that. Take care and hope y'all have a wonderful day, okay? Bye-bye.